Happy Friday, it's December 9th, I'm Chow Suan and you're watching The Big Story. Subscribe to The Straits Times channel to stay up to date with our live news updates. Heartbroken and devastated, the family living in a flat that caught fire at Henderson Road has spoken out about what happened and offered their condolences to the family of the firefighter who died while putting out the blaze on Thursday. On behalf of my family, I'm going to say sorry for his family on behalf of their loss, which they have a great son, even if NSF, and I myself is NSF. So he put his life at least to save the others. Lah. When ST visited the scene this morning, the corridor outside the flat was charred and the floor was damp. Several SCDF officers appeared to be inspecting the unit, while workers were fixing the wiring hanging outside the units along the corridor. SD understands that six households on the fourth floor, including Mr Azri's family, have temporarily moved to other vacant units in the same block or nearby, while clean-up and repair works continue. Meanwhile, investigations are ongoing. According to SCDF, a 19-year-old firefighter who was serving his full-time national service fell unconscious in the kitchen area of the flat while putting out the fire. He later died at the Singapore General Hospital. And American basketball star Brittany Griner is flying home after a dramatic prisoner exchange with a Russian arms dealer. Greiner was released on Thursday after 10 months of captivity in Russia. She is expected to land in San Antonio, Texas and be examined in a U.S. Army hospital. Her release comes after U.S. President Joe Biden agreed to a swap for Victor Boot, a convicted Russian arms dealer. Greiner was serving a nine-year prison sentence after customs officials at an airport near Moscow found two vape cartridges containing hashish oil in her luggage. And fans of Celine Dion sending her love and support after the pop diva revealed that she is suffering from a rare neurological disorder that is affecting her singing. I've been dealing with problems with my health for a long time. And it's been really difficult for me to face these challenges and to talk about everything that I've been going through. In a video posted on social media, Dion tearfully said that a team of doctors is working with her every day to improve her condition, known as stiff person syndrome, which causes muscle spasms. To focus on her health and recovery, the 54-year-old Canadian has rescheduled or cancelled her shows for next year. Now, some news that got me really excited today. British band Arctic Monkeys will be performing in Singapore for the first time on 28th February 2023 at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. So if, like me, you can't wait to get your fix of Alex Turner, keep your eyes out for tickets which will go on sale from Monday, December 12th. Promoter Lushington Entertainments has also released a seating plan which shows that tickets begin at 108 and go up to 248 Singapore dollars. Both seated and standing tickets are available. World Cup action is back after a short break with the quarterfinals kicking off later tonight. It's all up for grabs as the eight remaining teams are all vying for the four spots in the semi-finals. Five-time winners Brazil will be in action first as they face 2018 runners-up Croatia. There will be more football coming your way this weekend with the remaining quarter-finalists all in action. Lionel Messi will be hoping to lead Argentina into the semi-finals as they face the Netherlands. While dark horses Morocco will be hoping to keep their dream run going as they go up against Portugal. Rounding up the action this weekend will be England and defending champions France, who will be competing for the final spot. And those are our top stories for today. Visit straightstimes.com for more news and our YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe by hitting the red button below. I'm Chiao Suen and have a great weekend.